Welcome to Ron Wills Money Matters. The money is there. And this, this is just a general just thought. This, is, this could halfway go on my deep thought channel about money and how people look at it. Because one of the things is that people have, many people have a scarcity mindset with money. And they don't realize that really, if you think about it, money is really an idea. It's not a physical thing. Think about something. Take it. If you got a dollar bill, take that dollar bill out. Look at it good. Put it on the ground. It doesn't wiggle away. Hey, take it, write on it, write a phone number on it. You know what? Somebody wrote my phone number one time on some dollar bill, and this girl called me up. You know? This girl called me up. So... <laughs> But here's the thing, what does it re really represent? No matter what type of money, is it a dollar bill? Is it a coin? Is it like uh, some uh, computer, some computer numbers, a zero or one? All of it's an idea. All of it is an idea. Money's an idea. Indeed, the you could be in a situation where you actually, uh, you know, you, you, uh, actually get money created for you, you know, through a bank loan. Let's think about bank loans. The money's literally created for you. Think about it. Well, you, you get like, you get a loan, say you get a, a house loan for uh, half a million dollars. Yeah. Half a million. If you want a decent house. All right. You get that half a million. They don't give you half a million actual dollars, do they? No. Or, you know, some gold coins or whatever. It's just a number on a computer screen. It's just a number on a computer screen. You give that money, you know, the same number on a computer screen to uh, whoever's selling the house and shoot. But then since you got that loan, you're going to pay that bank back with numbers on a computer screen. You don't pay cash. Most people don't anyway. If you know somebody who pays cash for their uh, mortgage or something, please let me know. But in all seriousness... It's an idea. It's a thought. Think about it. Money is actually a thought. Creating money is a thought. When I do my videos, they start. every single video starts with a thought. This podcast started with a thought. It was like, hey, let me get more philosophical about money. So as long as you can think, the money's always there. You know, when I started this channel, when it was called Ron Wills About That Business, I put out a lot of thoughts about different businesses. You know, say you have a business, say you have a service, you know, first of all, your business started from you having the thought to create a service or business that other people will compensate you for your services, or you create a product that people will pay for that product. You actually creating money. When anybody, these YouTube content creators, you actually creating money. Think about it. Think about it. You didn't have any money when you put up the videos. You just put the video up. You put some ads on them. And, you know, of course, you know, people have to watch the ads. But you know what? It comes back to you. But it is coming from scratch. You create something that you can be compensated for. And then the thing on, okay, YouTube example again. More videos, more money. You're literally creating avenues for money. That means it's there. Like if you have a business, it's there, you know, it's people need a service. You have a certain service and people want it, then it's there. You just have to work hard and like, like provide the service, find ways to do it. You might have to ha hire somebody else to help you with that service, but it's still there. There's plenty of money out there. There's money, shoot, money's being created. Every time a loan is created, that's money every single time. Every time you creating it for yourself personally, every time you perform that service or, you know, sell that product, you actually creating your, for it yourself when you show up to work. Let me use that as an example. Say you just have a regular job, uh, you know, hourly wage job. You create money for yourself by just working the amount of hours. Now, say you normally work 32 hours. All right, you get that much money. But say you put in 55 hours during the week. Hey. That's more money. Think about it like that. And see, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah, I know some economists come on as well as this. Is, no. It comes down to a basic. You providing a service, they pay you for the service. 
If you don't provide the service, they don't pay you. You know, you providing a service when you want a job, which incidentally, let me go on a brief, brief tangent. Every single job I've been on, I looked at it like I was providing them a service. I, like I was a business, even though they were paying me. I just said, well, they just paying me steady. So that's how I looked at it. But you creating that. Think about it like that. Like when people say, I don't know how I'm going to make this much money. I've heard you and we've heard it. We all I need money for this or that. OK, uh, well, if you can't get a loan, get a job. And I'm dead serious. They say it can sound harsh sometimes, but get a job. Do something. Figure out a business. Figure out something. You need to make more money? Okay, you need to find something that will pay you even more. They will pay you for your time. You figure out a business. Figure out how to get it out there. Boom. You know? Make some videos. I mean, boom. But it's there. Because money is always flowing, it, you know. Like, I've, and I've heard some economists there say, well, you know, they're trying to limit it and stuff. It's like, no, because money is a currency. That's why they call it currency, in fact. Think about think about something. Think about the words you use. Currency. Currency. It's like an electric thing. You know, it's always there. It's invisible. It's the idea. Now, the only thing at issue is the medium in, to which uh, the idea manifests. Like I said, I mean, when I check, when I check my bank accounts... You know, they probably don't have, you know, $10,000 in there, like actual dollars, or at least not just for Ron, like this is just his thing. No, they have some numbers there that says, okay, this is how much you would have. Now, if I go pull all my money out, I could, you know, get all the money, right? Get all of it, all of it out. But what if they have a run on the bank? Something happens, they have a run on the bank, and what happens and y'all can check history, like especially during the Great Depression, when they had runs on the bank, the banks didn't have that much money. They only required to keep 10% of uh, the total amount of assets in there. It's always a problem. It's always a problem. But the key, the key is understand the money is there. When you're thinking about it, you need to make money, it's like, well, wait a minute. Look at it like this. Try to get out your left brain think about the right brain. Think of money as literally a river. You need that money, but you beside the river. All right. How do you get that money to come into or into your property? Maybe into a ditch that you build or a big old like mini pond. How do you do that? How do you do that? Hey, you dig a you dig a ditch. There you create a basket or something. Or imagine money is rain. How do you collect it? You collect baskets that can keep, uh, do it. Do you want to make money? Well, you got to figure out some type of service, some type of business, some type of job to get into. Now, I want y'all to think like that. Just think about that. Be more philosophical. But it's still there no matter what. It's just a matter of you getting your cut. Think about it, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. Let's go make that money. <laughs>